New Zealand has a well-earned reputation as a clean, peaceful country with a stable economy and high earning potential for skilled workers. They are a diverse nation of people uh, from many different backgrounds with a high regard for transparency, personal freedom and human rights, including those of the migrants who have come to work there. As part of New Zealand, immigration changes the government of this safe, attractive and rapidly growing country has announced a new green list of labor shortages and highly skilled occupations that have provided a priority pathway to permanent residency. Fortunately, nurses, midwives, uh, especially doctors, not already on the green uh, list, as well as gas fitters, drain layers, crane and bus operators, and primary and all secondary school teachers are part of the new additions and uh, added to the, the, the fast-tracked residency list. This new fast track straight to residence pathway means people who work in one of the green list occupations and have a job offer from an accredited employer can come to New Zealand on a work visa and apply for immediate residence. It means that if you meet the criteria, immediate residence can also be applied uh, for directly from offshore. So you can apply for residence permit right from your home country providing the two criteria of being in the green list and having an employment offer from an accredited employer. In this video, I explain how the green lease criteria works and what you can do to make sure your application has the best chance of success. Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time visiting our channel, my name is Ahmad Reza and here at Persia Global, we help those who are in search of better opportunities to work, live or study abroad. Want to live and gain residency in New Zealand? Then watch this video until the end. If you have a certain skill set, you may qualify for the Green Least Work Visa. In this video, I explain the application details and process and what to expect if you find yourself eligible for this visa. If this is your first time being here, subscribe to our channel and for getting informed of new uploads, hit the notification bell. So first of all, let's see uh, what is the New Zealand Immigration Green List? The Green List is a list of occupations that qualify for uh, either a fast uh, track to residence or have access to a uh, work to residence pathway. A range of jobs are on the list including health workers, wet engineers and ICT specialists and some new occupations have been added recently. Uh, we also expect new more occupations to be added later so please stay tuned to our channel to get notified of new updates on New Zealand different visas. Use the green list search to see if your role is tier one visa which means a straight to residence visa or tier two which is a work to residence visa check what qualifications registration or experience you need for a straight to residence or work to residence visa application some of these occupations will need to be paid a minimum salary which will be tied to the median or average wage with a higher pay for some occupations or roles uh, you um, can find more in the official uh, immigration website website of New Zealand with a link below this video. As you can see, the occupation in this website is referred to as a role. So wherever it indicates to role, they mean occupation by that. So the list also aims to make it easier to hire 
skilled migrants on accredited employer work visa or AEWV as accredited employers will be able to hire migrants on an AEWV if the occupation is on the green list. An employer uh, will be able to complete the job check without proof of advertising. Employers also do not need to advertise for the job check if the occupation is paid at least twice the median or average wage. There are around 100 hard to fill roles included on the green list, including roles in construction, engineering, trades, health, and tech. Note, uh, some occupations will need to work in New Zealand for two years that if you have the required and qualified experience in these occupations, you first need to apply for tier two visa before applying for residence via the work to residence pathway. On the 12th of December, uh, the government also announced an additional 12 roles to this list that you can check them via a link in our description section. So let's check out what is the New Zealand Immigration Green List criteria. To qualify for a work visa under the Green List, an overseas applicant will have to have a job offer that matches the occupation description or uh, requirements and be able to prove that their overseas qualification meets the comparable New Zealand qualification standard for their occupation. Fortunately, by comparing uh, this uh, qualification with the same in Australia, you will find this qualification or assessment process much easier. In some jobs, you only get eligible by a job offer from an, an accredited employer. However, for some more sensitive jobs like medical occupations, you need to get a letter of eligibility for uh, one of the standard forms of registration issued by, for example, the Medical Council of New Zealand. So before applying, check the last section in the occupation green list to see the qualifications process required. In fact, it is not simply a matter of matching a job title and it's uh, a very narrowly defined list. Employers also need to be accredited to be able to offer a candidate a job role. The specific qualification requirements that are detailed uh, on the green list are are all based on the New Zealand Qualifications Framework or NZQF, unless stated otherwise. Therefore, you can also get more information by checking New Zealand Qualification Authority on their website at www.nzqa.govt.nz. So for a candidate to qualify under that framework, the applicant must either get a New Zealand Qualifications Authority assessment of their qualification or have have a qualification that is on the list of uh, qualification uh, exempt uh, from assessment. They evaluate overseas qualifications and vocational qualifications to work out how they compare to New Zealand qualifications. Evaluation results can help uh, New Zealand uh, organizations better understand your overseas qualification for immigration, employment, or further study. Check if you need an evaluation with the organization you are applying to. To start your assessment, you need to apply for International Qualification Assessment or IQA with the link below our video. First, you should confirm that you need to apply for an IQA. Then you need to work out if you require an add-on evaluation or skills shortage. They can only evaluate a one qualification for each IQA. If you have an additional qualification, you want uh, it evaluated, you have to apply for another IQA. Uh, they can only accept clear scanned copies of your original documents. You will need to upload uh, these to their web uh, portal. Documents are required or may be required are a passport, bio data page, the section of your passport 
passport that shows your photograph, name, date of birth, and nationality. A word certificate. Uh, the certificate or degree issued by the awarding organization in the original language. A full transcript, uh, academic record, or a mark sheet that must show details uh, for each year of study. It must include uh, the subject names and results of classes, modules, and papers you completed. Underpinning qualifications are also required if applicable. In this case, uh, you need if you have another relevant qualification that relates to the qualification you need to be evaluated. If you nominate a qualification for evaluation that has an underpinning qualification, for example, a bachelor's degree is the underpinning qualification for a master's degree. Please provide this as a supporting document so that they can see the educational pathway that led to your higher qualification. English translations are required if applicable. If your documents were not issued in English, you must provide an English translation by a recognized official translation service for each document. English translation must be carried out by the translation service of uh, uh, internal efforts, an embassy or high commission. In this case, I personally always get the translation accredited by a New Zealand embassy for more confidence. Or you can also use a private uh, or official translation business. Include scanned copies of your original documents along with the translated copies. And finally, after you have applied, you can check the status of your application by logging into the online application portal. Find out about the fees for an IQA in their website with a link in our description section. All fees include GST or good and service tax where applicable and are subject to change. You should also note that add-ons can be added to your application up to 12 months after completion of your IQA. How do you apply for the Immigration New Zealand Green Lease Visa? Now that migrants who meet the criteria and are eligible for a visa via the Green Lease, for example, they have qualifications that meet the comparable New Zealand qualification standard for their occupation and assessment required and have a job offer from an accredited employer can apply for a work visa and apply uh, for um, residence if they are in an occupation on the direct to residence part of the green list. Those who have a role on the work to residence pathway in the green list can also seek an accredited employer work visa or AEWV but have to complete the two uh, years of work before seeking residence. Immigration New Zealand uh, is regularly adding to and updating the list of eligible occupations so it pays to check if your uh, occupation is included in the list. The application process will be completely online. Let's uh, find what does the Immigration New Zealand Green Lease Visa application cost. The application fee an immigration levy will be between 4,020 New Zealand dollars and 4,890 New Zealand dollars, depending on whether you are applying from within New Zealand or another part of the world. These fees uh, include goods and services tax or GST and exclude the International Visitor Conservation and Tourism Levy or IVL. How do you find an accredited employer? Accredited employers are the only employers that can hire migrant workers from overseas. They are the only ones that can offer jobs to migrant workers. There is not uh, an up-to-date list for all accredited employers in New Zealand. Uh, there is also no 
a requirement to register on a public list. You can apply for a job and ask them whether they are an accredited employer or not. You can also ask them for the job check for the role advertised or not. In our experience, every employer who is serious about hiring an offshore candidate should be familiar and engaged with this process. So those who find you qualified, they will show more motivation to contact you back. Uh, you can also use from many job placement companies online to speed up and get your desired employer and then a job offer from them. Check also a list of New Zealand job vacancy and recruitment agency websites in the official website of New Zealand job hunting and recruitment and use their useful tools over there. If you're short of time, many of these private companies have complied a list of the most in-demand roles, but keep in mind they do have more to help you and you can register with them and send uh, them your CV to find the best matching employer for you. How long will it take to get an immigration uh, New Zealand green lease visa approved? The government says uh, application will be processed within 30 days once an employer is accredited. If you are an employer uh, watching this video and not yet accredited, I recommend you starting that process now. As from July 2022, uh, you need to be accredited to be able to hire new migrant workers or to apply for new work visa for any existing migrant employees. What about the partners of New Zealand Green Lease visa holders? The partners of migrants in Green Lease occupation will also have open work rights. If you don't meet the Green Lease criteria from April 2023, a partner will only be granted a visitor visa. This means your partner cannot work while on a visitor visa. They can look for work and uh, attend job interviews. However, their visitor's visa status often uh, impacts the likelihood of being employed. If your partner can find a job with an accredited employer, then they will get a work visa tied to that employer. However, uh, this is a temporary visa type. I speak to the team at recruitment companies to find out more about finding a job and being matched to an accredited employer. What if uh, you are not eligible for a green list visa? The green list visa is exclusive. In, uh, in other words, um, if you are not on the green list, you don't get on the straight to residence pathway or uh, the work to residence pathway. It is also quite a narrowly defined list and requires a visa applicants qualifications to be equivalent to the New Zealand qualifications on the list, not just to match the job title. If you're not eligible under the green list, you can still apply to work in New Zealand by applying for the accredited employer work visa or AEWV and obtain residence where the skilled migrant category which is currently under review. What can go wrong with a New Zealand green list application? For migrants because the green list is so narrowly defined one of the things that could go wrong for an applicant is that your applications do not meet the comparable New Zealand qualifications standard for your occupation or the requirements of the job description and you won't be eligible uh, that initially uh, in the qualification assessment part of the video I explained the assessment process in details. For an employer something that could go wrong is the job description not being closely enough aligned to meet the description of the role that Immigration New Zealand will use and thus the applicant not meeting their requirements and not being able uh, to be hired via the 
green list. To avoid either uh, these problems, refer to the description section of our video to visit the official websites to check your eligibility and also see our video again with poses uh, on important parts that could help assess your uh, qualification against the uh, New Zealand standards in general. Also check uh, with your job description and job offer to make sure all the requirements are met for you to qualify for the green list. English language test results take up. You can take uh, a test to show them that you can use and understand English. Find out which test uh, they accept and the results you need for the visa you're applying for via the link in our description section. You, as the principal applicant, your partner, and dependent children aged 16 and over must all speak and understand English. Most of the time, they ask you to show this in your application uh, with English language test results. But check this page um, as uh, they also accept other forms of proof beside test results. IELTS uh, general or academic module are accepted with minimum score. Uh, you need uh, overall score of 6.5 uh, or more or equivalent scores in other acceptable English tests. You can also buy English language lessons for your partner and dependent children aged 16 and over in your application if they do not have yet taken or prepared to take an English exam like IELTS. You choose the option um, when you apply and pay for the lessons once your visa is granted. This lets your a partner and dependent children uh, improve their English after they come to New Zealand. You don't need to provide test results if one of the following applies to you. You are a citizen of Canada, Ireland, United Kingdom, or the United States, and you have spent at least five years working or studying in those countries or in Australia or New Zealand. You have a qualification similar to a New Zealand level seven bachelor's degree uh, gain in Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, or the United States, and you uh, studied for at least two years in any of those countries to get that qualification. You have a qualification gain in Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, the UK, or the US, uh, which is comparable uh, to uh, postgraduate New Zealand qualification. You must have studied for at least one year in any of those countries to get that qualification. So that's all for today. I hope this video could help you on your immigration or relocation journey. As always, pin all your hopes always on God. You will never be pinned down by man. Until next video, over and out.